Hey guys, so I just wanted to shoot this quick video as I walk around the park um, on this, I think it's Tuesday morning right now, uh, about 8 o'clock. Normally when I do a little morning walk like this, which I often do, um, just to get out of the house before midday, which otherwise doesn't normally happen, I work from home pretty much quite a lot the last uh, eight years or so, uh, although most of my paid work tends to be when I'm in front of people so obviously that has dried up um, so it's the non fee generating work that I'm doing right now at home uh, the videos the blogs etc um, anyway the park is a lot busier than normal at this time and lots of people doing more exercise which is great and people taking advantage of the working from home and social distancing measures that are in place um, so what I wanted to show with this video is I guess some thoughts on what's going on at the moment. I know there's a lot of uncertainty, fear comes out of uncertainty and not knowing what's happening and in these uncertain times it can help to find some level of certainty and that might be a certainty in your routine, in your exercise, in your nutrition if you can and this is really a great opportunity that we've got here for some changes to happen both on an individual and community level but also on a global level we'll hopefully start to realize how interconnected we are how interdependent we are on each other and how we really need to look after one another look after our planet uh, not take so many things for granted I think our generation generation before and the generation coming up we're so used to things like our videos on demand and our Amazon Prime and our order food at the click of a button and we don't know how to cook, we don't know how to shop, we don't know how... Now obviously I'm generalising here and it's not everyone but the point is that I think this will be an opportunity for certain changes to happen for many people and maybe society as a whole maybe we start to look at one another differently hopefully in a positive light once the social distancing measures have gone we're going to start to realize just how much we need community connection it's something that i've always been talking about as part of my leadership beat model which is the philosophy i developed for health and well-being that uh, there's a, a TEDx talk on and some blogs and I've been writing the book for years and years on it um, but there's also online courses and all sorts of things on that and the four areas B, E, A and T are what goes into health and well-being okay um, I won't go through all of them now but the A part in the word BEAT B, E, A, T the A part stands for activity and now that's not just about the activity I'm seeing in the park right now which is with everyone walking around and doing everything but it's also things like passion purpose but connection connection was the piece in there and in a lot of the things that I've been looking at over the last several years probably decade the one thing that keeps coming up as being a key part for health longevity well-being is connection and that is not just emotional connection connection with yourself connection with others but physical touch now obviously, right now, physical touch is something that's not encouraged and I'm fully on board with that. Um, and I think we're gonna just realize how important and how difficult it is to go without physical touch, uh, to go without community, without um, social interaction. Uh, I can't believe how busy the park is right now um, with people running, it's never been like this. Um, so use this as an opportunity maybe to get into shape while you still can go for those walks obviously staying two meters apart from other people if that's a recommendation of your government your uh, nation um, but I guess the point is this is an opportunity it may seem like an obstacle but I think within each obstacle there is an opportunity and if everybody works together practices what their government is currently recommending ours in the UK is uh, encouraging us to practice social distancing staying at home uh, wherever possible and only 
go now if you've got a, a job that really dictates it those people you know that can't work from home those people that are supporting the services that we need the supermarkets the you know the garbage collectors the um, police the firefighters the ambulance all these people who, who need to be protected as well as the vulnerable uh, the elderly and those with low immune systems um, and so if we all do our part we go out we get our walk we get our sunshine when we can the rest of the time we're we're keeping closed in a little bit we're cooking from home we're learning to cook we're reading more uh, some of the tips that I suggested yesterday and on my latest blog and and you can find this as an opportunity anyway enough rambling I'm gonna carry on with the rest of my walk I wish you well and um, let me know how you're dealing with this current situation. Bye.